this is probably the first time you're ever gonna hear anyone say this, but what we've been doing, it, it changes the game totally because most people go for amount of sets and amount of reps and amount of time in the gym. But what we are doing now is we do not care about the reps. We, I don't even know how many reps I did last workout. What's going on guys? So today is chest and triceps and shoulders. Today's a push day. I meant to do this day first, but I thought of the YouTube video after. So I'm actually filming this after I did day two and day three. To start what we're doing today, for chest, we've followed the same time under tension method. We have not gone for reps at all. It's purely for weight and consistent reps. So you can't stop at any point in the rep. You have to have constant contraction of the muscle, which is amazing. So constant tension on the muscle chest today, specifically shoulders and triceps. So what we're doing is we're starting with 25 to 35 seconds. I like 30 just straight up in between. That's my favorite. And you pick an exercise. I pick dumbbell bench because I like the way it feels on my chest. Whatever you feel like can give you the best contraction, just do that. Hit it hard, do 30 seconds of non-stop reps. At, you know, have a timer for 30 seconds. Have someone like Colin, like my man Colin, hyping you up the entire workout exercise, the entire set. So we start with that 30 second uh, interval, about four to five sets of that. And then next we'll go to a 45 second press. I like a machine or maybe an incline dumbbell. Pick one of those and do that for 45 seconds. Let me tell you, 45 seconds of constant exercise is going to obliterate your muscles. Like I'm not kidding. It's going to feel extremely painful. As long as you have good form and it's muscular pain, keep it coming. You know, that is the pain that gets you to the next level. Every time someone walks by me, by the way, watching me film this, they, they look at me like I'm either crazy or they look at me like I'm this extremely famous YouTuber and I am absolutely neither. Also guys, quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, TLF. TLF has been so supportive of me. They have honestly, like it is unbelievable how supportive they are. Use this link right here. Go to TLF's website, use this code right here, get some amazing apparel. It's good stuff guys. It's next level quality. Go do your boy a favor, use this code, go to this link and get some TLF apparel, guys. Honestly, don't even remember where I left off, but I think I was somewhere around the second exercise and I told you the second exercise, so after you do the second press, you're gonna do another 45 second time under tension interval, not a compound movement for your chest. Cable flies, machine flies, dumbbell flies. If you're doing dumbbell, I would do incline dumbbell flies, just a slight incline, that's my favorite. And then we go to two supersets for shoulders and tries, and that is it. We're gonna do a superset of military press, like an Arnold press or a barbell press. So this is your heavy exercise for shoulders and triceps. So you're gonna do three to four sets of 30 second time under tension, as much weight as you can working up each set. For triceps, I would start with um, either a rope, bar, or some kind of push down. Um, where you keep your shoulder, your elbows back. Keep them very far back. Don't let your elbows come forward so you're using your shoulders like an animal. Superset those for three to four sets, 45 seconds per set. After that, the next exercise you're gonna do, the one shoulder is gonna be a lateral raise and the one tricep is going to be another extension. Honestly, I would probably do a skull crusher if you can, or an overhead extension. Skull crushers are so good. Um, and they hit really different from a push down. So I would do lateral raises and don't let your arms, like don't let your arms go all the way down. Keep them up, like go down only to there and then come all the way up so you can keep that tension on the muscle. The whole point of this workout program is to keep tension and hit the muscle on a consistent basis. For the skull crushers, I would use dumbbell or a preacher bar. If you use a barbell, it's gonna hurt. The thing I really like about the time that benefits you a lot more than reps is when you're doing reps, you go to a number. And if, if you go to that number and you're not dead, you're gonna stop at that number because that's all you're going to. If you do a time of, an amount of time that you have to be working, it, it's totally different because if you say 45 seconds and you put on a weight that you feel you can only get for 25 seconds, you are gonna somehow push yourself to reach that 45 seconds because you said that that's the amount that you're gonna get. And typically when you're doing time under tension, you can get more if you want. It's the mental barrier that kills you. So it's not, it's not like you're doing 500 pounds on a squat and you physically can't get one more. You physically can, but mentally you don't want to. So um, that's what I really like about time under tension. It 
forces you to go to that next level of working out and uh, just, just getting to that next level of push that most people don't have. So that is it for the workout, honestly. I'm sitting in my car waiting. Uh, I'm about to pick up Colin. We're about to do this workout right now. So Sorry, I'm hype. I'm having trouble hearing you. So I'm hype. Uh, yeah, I will see you there. And and unfortunately, the gym decided that um, even though there's been like zero spread of COVID in our gym, that they're gonna make us wear masks. I'm not a fan, uh, as you can see, but you know, that's, that's whatever. So I would be doing this in the gym, but I'm not allowed to talk in the gym because I mean, the mask is on and, and you, the music is blasting. It's like, so yeah. So I will see you in the gym. Let's kill, let's get a good workout. Peace guys. Right, guys so today is day two we're hitting a pull day rear delts back and biceps and then we're doing legs and abs for the final day I have actually never done a push pull leg split this is the first time in my life that I ever did something like this I kind of felt like lame doing it before I had like one of those problems where you're like an ego lifter for so long I couldn't lift anything that was lighter than like the most I could lift um, you know, I always had to go for maxes, like tons of sets too. I always had to be doing the most weight and the most sets, the most reps, the most everything in the gym. That's like a big problem I had in the gym. I've recently changed my approach a lot and it's really made a difference. So I've started listening to my body, trying to realize how much I can actually do um, and how much my body can actually recover from and what is best for it. And before I was literally doing about 30 to 50 sets per muscle group per week. and that is just absurd if you're looking to build muscle. My body can't do that, so uh, I found the best way to build muscle for me is to do about 10 to 15 sets per week on the bigger muscle groups and then like eight to 12 sets on the smaller muscle groups. So the big ones are back, legs, and chest, and then the small ones are shoulders, arms. Uh, abs, honestly, you don't really need to do much. You just kind of, you know, I don't do abs that much because I don't want to make my waist that much bigger because I have a big waist already compared to my shoulders. So I don't want to do that. This is probably the first time you're ever going to hear anyone say this, but what we've been doing, it, it changes the game totally because 
most people go for amount of sets and amount of reps and amount of time in the gym. But what we are doing now is we do not care about the reps. We, I don't even know how many reps I did last workout. But we do care about the sets. We're doing it you know, a certain amount of times. Just forget about the amount of reps you're doing and focus on the amount of time under tension. It totally changes your workouts. And don't just be like, okay, I'll do two second negatives, one second concentric, and then I'm just gonna, you know, that'll be it. And I'll do 12 reps of that. Don't do that. Be like, okay, I, want to be under tension for 45 seconds see how much weight i can do for that time under tension and accumulate the amount of time your muscle is being worked in the workout not just the amount of reps because you could be doing complete garbage reps so this really negates that whole uh you know fear that you're not doing good reps so what we're doing is we're starting with uh two to three back exercises we're going to do the first one heavy so 25 to 30 seconds of time and attention, and then we're doing one 45 seconds of time and attention. Then we're gonna do one or two bicep exercises, and then to end the workout, we're gonna do a super set of biceps and back. So let's get it, Colin's gonna be here soon. Can't wait, this is gonna be epic. Let's do it, guys. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That is my time and attention training and exactly what I'm doing right now for my cycle. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you tried this cycle. I want to know what you think. If you've got tips and tricks for me or changes that you would like to add. And also if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, DM me on Instagram. Go follow me at Gabe's account on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. More videos coming soon. Thanks, guys.